Hello everybody, welcome back to our last day on Earth Survival. Today is going to be a rather quick video and the plan is we are just going to be going over the Season 7 rewards and all of the tasks for the three weeks ahead. So starting out with the rewards, I'm going to say they're actually pretty good. They've still got a few little issues that I would like to see change, for example, a make it in a stack of 10. It's still better than the old stacks of 5, but still not perfect, but there we see it's stack of 20, 3c4. But the focus here is going to be on trying to improve things for free-to-play players. And honestly, this season, I think it looks quite good for the free-to-play players. So you're still getting the entire military set over four levels, but again, it's still quite early on. You're getting some C4, you're getting the energy drinks, and some caps as well. Unfortunately, again, only 10 make it, so in total you'll be getting 20 make it for free, and you'll probably use more make it than that in doing the task to get them. And then you're getting yourself a single level one shepherd puppy, a few cogs for the ATV, some carbon composite. They listened, they've added carbon into the free version. You've got harpoon guns, some modded weapons, some modded weapons, a car battery, and the farmer. So they've changed it up this time. The elite skin for the season is in the free to play section. So last season, and basically all the ones before that, the elite skin was the last thing to unlock in the premium pass. Now you get it in the free to play. And instead, in the premium, if we jump all the way to the end, we have the Raider backpack, which looks quite cool. And my face looks blue. I apologize. I'm going to mute that before it does it again. Wonderful. And we're also at the far end here looking at, of course, another ATV transmission and gas cylinder. For the premium pass, you actually get, I believe, three gas cylinders in this season, which is good. For those of you that haven't completed your ATV, that's going to help. And for those of you that have, it'll mean that you don't have to go to Bunker Bravo as often to get gas cylinders for powering the chemistry station. And then we have the armor set. Here we have the lovely new Raiders armor. So this is what was in the trailer for the actual season that we saw a couple of weeks ago, something like that. And as you can see here, we've got the Raiders battle helmet, incredibly strong helmet with frightening elements. And it's basically all got the same description. Protective vital body parts from zombies, heavy shoes designed to, for effective enemy kill off. Several metal layers provide reliable protection in battle. Now, whilst these do look cool, I think my main focus for them is going to be straight onto my mannequin, where they are going to stay forever, because I don't want to lose them. Right then, and I'll give you a quick look at the premium rewards. You get another one of those lovely carbon sets. We get a free Kevlar set. I say free. You have to obviously go for the task. The SS, 200 caps. So I believe in total, premium, if you complete up to level 15, you'll get 450 caps. Yeah, you get some SWAT. You get an elite husky puppy. And some rations and some other gubbins, like some fishing belly and a fancy rod. Now, onto the tasks. The week one tasks we have. Successfully take 10 boxes out of prison, complete the robbery, kill 20 raiders, deal 4,000 damage with a block. I'm not going to read every single one of these out loud. That will drive both you and me insane. And then for the premium tasks, we've got visit convoy stop, deal 500 damage to zombies in infected forest, complete the task, short circuit on preparing the robbery, deal 1000 damage with a modified close in weapon, kill 10 wolves in the forest location. Now, these all look to be very easy this time around, which is good, because one thing I don't get, everyone complains that the premium tasks sometimes are easier. Premium doesn't mean harder. That's the one thing they get to. They don't need to be more difficult tasks, they're just extra tasks. And then week two, we have finished preparations for a stealth robbery, break 10 chests with supply on location. Uh, break 10 supply chests on location, radio tower or convoy stop, kill 20 zombies in the prison, kill 2000 zombies with a baseball bat, yada, yada, yada. And then, premium task, visit the radio tower, recycle three electronic objects with recycler, deal 500 damage to floater boaters with a long range weapon, so that'll be your AK, M16, VSS, things like that. Complete task, sabotage, on preparing the robbery, and make a deal with the dealer. And then for the final week, we have finished preparations for an assault robbery. Okay, so we've got complete the robbery, finished preparations for a assault robbery, and then finished preparations for an assault robbery. Complete task, infection, on preparing the robbery, kill 20 zombies in the sewer under the power station, inflict 5,000 damage with any modified weapon, inflict 2,000 damage with a close in weapon, kill the witch with a close in weapon, kill the ravager, visit the police station, deal 500 damage to any zombies at the police station, open a box for any card at the police station. So these last three here, you're all going to do in just one go, and that's going to instantly get you 15 points there. And then the final premium tasks for the season are visit the power station, inflict 500 damage to zombies in bunker alpha with a shotgun, find a farm chest and saw it up, kill five wild turkeys with a golf club, that's a bit of a weird one, and kill 10 floats of boaters in any limestone location. So these are all looking like very easy tasks this season. It shouldn't be too difficult to fully max everything out. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you what the daily tasks will be. I have not got access to that information. And finally, there is the store here as well, which has the members box, the treasurer's box, and the captain's box. Unfortunately, I haven't got any of these caps, and I cannot show you what will be in them apart from these little bits here. And I believe I'm starting to death in the background, so I think that is a good time to end off the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you find all this helpful in preparation for your next few weeks ahead. I just cracked my knuckles and I hope that didn't come through on the audio. Bye bye.